hello, I'm Beth Joey and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. This is a channel where I paint my face, turn my camera on and talk about some books. So you may have seen recently, I put out a video called my reaction to 25 before 25, which is my reaction to a video I created last year, which was 25 books that I want to read before I turn 25. As you'll have seen, I wasn't very successful. I think I picked books that I wanted to read because they would impress people rather than I wanted to actually read them. So I've decided that this time with my list of 26 before 26, I'm going to pick books that I want to read. And that is what I have done with these stacks in front of me. I have also picked only books that are on my TBR. There are no books on this list that are coming out next year or that I don't own but want to read or anything like that. These are all books that I own because a big goal for me next year is going to be to actually read through a ton of the books on my TBR. And so this will hopefully get me with a decent enough dent in it. The only sort of exception to that rule is one book which is on my Kindle and that is The Mysterious Affair at Styles by Agatha Christie. And that's because I kind of want to do an Agatha Christie like Hercule Poirot reread or read actually because I don't think I've read any by Agatha Christie at this point. So I want to do that and that is the first book that I'm going to start it with. Moving on from that, the rest of these are physical books but I am not going to go into detail about what all of these are about because there are 26 of them and there is no order to any of these at all. So if there's something to say on them, I will mention it. But if not, we're just going to list them off. So let's start with Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. Anything Could Happen by Lucy Diamond, which is kind of on my list because Ben got this for me and I need to start reading the books that get gifted to me. The Christie Affair by Nina de Gramont in The Spirit of All Things Christie. Gallant by V.E. Schwab, which I'm amazed I haven't read yet. These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan, which I need to read because I just got the special edition Fairy Loot sequel. A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, which I want to read because I'm told it's another Beauty and the Beast retelling like Akata. The Passenger by Ulrich Alexander Boschwitz. I think this was on my last one as well and I'm really determined to read it this time. Time. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. This is on my November TBR, so I should smash this out pretty quickly. True History of the Kelly Gang. I really, really want to read this because it's such a big part of the history that we're taught in school in Australia. The whole Kelly Gang and the infamy around it. So I really, really am excited to learn more. In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. Serpent and Dove by Shelby McHuron, which has been on my TBR for forever. <laughs> the Heart Principle by Helen Huang. This was definitely on my last 25 before 25 list, uh, but I didn't read it because I'm scared. So it's on this one. In the Seen Hands of Others by Nat Ogle. Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman, which is also on my November TBR. So this one will definitely get smashed out quickly too. Guild by Raven Kennedy, a recent purchase and I bought the whole series. So I really hope I like this. The Road Trip by Beth O'Leary, one I started and was loving but had to put down because I was going on holiday and I forgot to pick it back up again, but I do want to. Book of Night by Holly Black. When there has been so much discord about this book, I really, really need to see what side I'm gonna fall on. The Night Circus by Erin Morganson, another returnee from my 25 before 25 list, so hopefully I actually read it this time. The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, the sequel to The Handmaid's Tale, I think it is, and man, I have had this on my TBR for ages and I need to read it because I love The Handmaid's Tale when I read it after high school, when I read it in, not so much, but after high school, loved it, thought it was fascinating, so need to read this. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover, which I'm pretty sure is another returnee. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which I think is on my end of the year TBR. So this one should be done by end of 2022. As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson, which I'm pretty sure is on my November TBR. Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. Belladonna by Adeline Grace, which I think is on my November TBR and my end of year TBR. So Fingers crossed I actually read it. And lastly, we've got Babel by R.F. Kuang, which I cannot believe I haven't read yet considering there has been so, so much hype about this book but I'm determined to read it before I turn 26 and I'm hoping I'll love it just as much as everybody else has. So this was a very, very quick one. Those are the 26 books that I hope to read before I turn 26. And I guess you'll have to just stick around on this channel for another year to see how I go with actually reading these. One thing that I do wanna do, so do let me know down below if you think this is a good idea, is run a series of vlogs throughout the 12 months where I read a couple of these every month. I do a vlog on it and that is my way of essentially ensuring that I read all of these books. So it would be about two to three books per month. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in down below or just let me know if you do a similar sort of thing like this. Make a list of books that you want to read before your next birthday. I would be so interested to know what the books on that list are for you. So do come and tell me about them in the comments down below. I love talking to you guys and I do my best to reply to every single comment. I really really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did please do let me know by liking, subscribing and hitting that notification bell all down below. It is a super super easy way to help my channel grow and I will see you lovely people in my next video. Bye.